34 year old Gizin Hinga, who is a national team player and who served as the secretary of the interim body for a year, takes charge of the body that has faced endless upheavals in the past and his appointment marks the start of a new era for the sport. Hinga was chosen and opposed during the elections held today at Nyayo National Stadium and takes over from Douglas Ratemo, who was the chairman of the interim body that took charge after the disbandment of the former office. The problem has been a sustained program of activity, which uh, you'll find uh, perhaps we have not had as many tournaments as we would have liked to. Uh, we, we plan to put structures in place, not only for tournaments, but also to get in new blood. We want to cast our net very wide, as wide as possible, so that persons who probably don't know about chess get into the game. Rahema Kimulu was also appointed first vice chairperson and opposed and becomes the only lady in the seven-man office that is now mandated with the responsibility to restoring the glory of the sport in the country. We're going to create a more conducive environment uh, where it's not an intimidating factor that there are lesser ladies than the men because generally the men perform better than the women and we want to put more systems in place to improve the game amongst the ladies because generally our game is more on the low as compared to the men. Lawrence Haduli was elected second vice chair person and opposed with Joseph Atuoli facing zero position for the post of secretary general. We've learned from the past and we know the mistakes that have happened in the past and we are hoping to do things a little bit different. Gilbert Wandera was no match for Philip Singe as he lost 26 six votes. Singe making it to the deputy secretary general's office. Musa Quereba is the new treasurer, while Karan Christie is the deputy treasurer. All eyes are now set on the new office to bring change and transform the sport that was slowly fading and also put an end to the on and off major tournaments in the country, including the national championship and the Kenya Open. The new office takes charge immediately.